We live in a beautifully complex world that's full of cats and trees and roads and clarinets and all kinds of things. And by comparison, the entire universe is very simple, and even the cosmologists would admit that. It's difficult to understand, but it isn't anywhere near as messy. However, the same physics applies everywhere, and that means that you can learn things even in your kitchen that can shed some light on the fundamental nature of the universe. It starts with a toaster. I generally think that people should pay more attention to their toaster before they go worrying about the rest of the universe because it's got lots of the same physics in it and it makes toast. Toaster elements glow orange. Nobody has a toaster that glows blue. And the colours can't be changed. They're set by a very fundamental principle of physics that applies to everything in the universe. Every single object is glowing because it has a temperature and every temperature is associated with a very specific colour. So for example, something that's white hot might be around 1300 degrees C and something that's bright orange might be around 950 and then by the time it's dull red, perhaps you're looking at 650 degrees Celsius. But after you've switched your toaster off and it's cooling down and the dull red fades, it's still glowing. It's just doing it in colours that we can't see in the infrared. So for the white hot situation, it's emitting lots of energy in these wavelengths here. And as we cool down, it cools into the red, so around 700 degrees. There's still a little bit of red left, that's why we see red. But there's starting to be more of these other infrared colours. And as it cools even further, all the emitted radiation, all of that light, is in colours that we can't see. But an infrared camera can see it. And if we could see infrared, we wouldn't ever need a thermometer because we'd be able to tell the temperature of things just by looking at them. This sounds like a great superpower to have until you realise that you would never see complete darkness ever again because the world around you would always be lit by that glow. I'm glowing, you're glowing, everything in this room is glowing and so is the universe. The sky between the stars is black. And for centuries, astronomers thought there was nothing coming from that space. But then as telescopes got better, they discovered that there was a faint glow. So they looked to see whether it matched the temperature. And they had to go a long way down the scale. But eventually, they did find a match in the microwave region. So that's when light waves were a millimetre in wavelength. And the temperature that that colour corresponds to is 2.7 Kelvin. That's just 2.7 degrees above absolute zero, the coldest that anything can be. So the universe is phenomenally cold, but that little bit of warmth is there, it's left over from the Big Bang. And you can measure the temperature of the universe using exactly the same physics that you use to tell whether your toaster is working. Mm -hmm.